officially recording and we will get to the meat of what we hope to discuss today around um, taking that the the team one document and sort of how we can apply it to what we what we hope to do so Casey I rudely interrupted you so <laughs> please continue um so yeah, so I'll just say like some of it again since we weren't recording. Uh, so the question that I thought we were working on was um, how can people learn to adapt thinking and improve communities? And Morgan had talked about maybe us changing that to systems. And then um, in our Team 3 folder, we had like a, like a document we were all kind of like putting ideas on. Um, but this was from, I think, the first week. Um, when people did the breakout groups and it, it says um, it like talks about different systems it has food systems health and wellness educational systems economic systems and natural environment and Morgan talked about you know if we used our our question those could be different modules like under um, our huge question Yes, that, that's, I remember that is what she had said. So I was kind of like, I don't know, I, I was kind of, I was kind of rolling with that. Um, I know, like, I'm, I'm still like, I'm still hung up on this garden thing. It doesn't have to be a community garden like exploring that uh, like with my students making it making it twofold I guess can I um, Casey can I ask you to repeat what you just said because my my internet went out and I don't know if that impacted the recording or not but uh, I would um, also like to hear what you you started saying something about the community garden and yeah except for not like like I still want to do the garden piece, but not necessarily a community garden, um, but a branch off that food systems, like how can, um, what did I come up with? I was, I was looking at it uh, a little bit today. Um, let's see, untitled, here we go. Um, and I was thinking about like, how, how can I improve food systems for myself possibly? and um, where you know the outcome is possibly a blueprint um, for planning their own garden with a budget attached to it um which, so that, which might fall under the banner of like health and wellness uh well i was thinking food systems but maybe not maybe it is health and wellness i guess it probably could be so um that was kind of my thought, and I, I was doing a little bit of like research on, um, you know, different types of soils, like composting, which ties in like a recycling piece, um, and then just different uh, soil science, what uh, nutrients are in soils, and then I want to do the math piece with, um, you know, if they did raised beds, the volume, you know, it's more junior high math, but it's math somewhat <laughs> yeah because uh, I don't think we're gonna get high school level math out of these things because it's more complex so, but that was like where I wanted to go with mm -hmm. with so my I guess, piece I guess. for me as I think about it I, you know I was as I was watching the other videos you know, like I was looking I was thinking at it also as like sort of what standards are we going to be addressing right like I know that we need to come up with a project and things but so I went through you know thinking about the community garden and I found a few biology standards life science standards that certainly would match I didn't look at any of the other sciences but those because that's I, I can but um, and I you know I looked at I'm looking at our that team three document again where we had you know what systems of interdependence exist within communities i think that's what you were just saying is that right casey i think so, so um so i just i feel like we're starting to get crunched for time right like we've got um we've got like three weeks and we need to have 
something finished for this. Um, so I, is it, you know, we've sort of brainstormed what those systems are. Is a first step for this project to sort of put that impetus on students to identify what those are and make that sort of the first the first question or that sort of first module. And then from there, if this continues through, you know, through phase two or whatever it is, stage two or part two or whatever, that those are where we flesh out each one of those systems, you know, like the food systems and the wellness. And the, I, I'm just, I'm wrestling with a couple of things. Time, we're running out of it. And I look at where other groups are and they are light years ahead of us, which I think is fine. <laughs> Morgan doesn't seem stressed about it. But I'm also feeling like what am like what am I bringing to the conversation for this group because I've missed two meetings, um, and I don't know what I should be working on. Like, should I be working on something? And if it is, if I should be, what exactly is that that I should be doing? Should I just be brainstorming still? Should I be tying trying to pull in standards? Should I? So that's sort of where I am, um, and I feel like I haven't been helpful to the group. And I, I have emailed as much to Morgan to say, like, look, I'm, I haven't been able to participate. So um, I'm feeling that little bit of stress. Like, what are we working on? We need to nail that down pretty quickly, I think. Um, and then I feel like the five of us can sort of figure out, okay, well, how are we going to blend things together to provide that, that multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary approach? I think we kind of all feel that crunch. Sadie. Sorry. Um, I, yeah, I, I think we all kind of feel that crunch. I don't think you're alone in feeling that kind of loss. Um, I kind of got that sense from like Claudia as well, like last meeting, like she's yeah. really like uncertain of where to, where to be, what to be doing, I guess. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I think, I think we have our question. Like, I think, am I, am I right? And yes, if we just like replace the word community with the word systems. So it's kind of what I was thinking, but. And to me, and can, where, I'm sorry, Drew, where is that question? Like, where can I find that question written out? Is it on our, on a document somewhere? Just so that way I can start to, is it in our team three modules documents? Yeah. Team three it, document, right? Yeah, it's just called Team Three. Okay. Inside our inside so, our Team Three, there's like four documents, and it's just called Team Three. And and so the question itself is: Is it the one right at the top? Let me pull it up. I'm sorry. I just That's and Drew, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to derail the conversation, Drew, or take it over. I just I I need to see it in writing because what I think we'll do is copy it over to the modules page, and that might help all of us bring some clarity. Yeah, it's right top. It's in blue. So, how can people learn to adapt thinking and improve systems? I I think more yeah because we have communities, but I think Morgan Morgan said that it would be, we might think about changing that word communities to systems. Because we had the next, like, underneath that, there's what systems of interdependent exist in communities. And then there's those, like, five systems right below that she okay. said that we could do. We could branch those out as each a module or if we wanted to just like develop one and everybody okay. has like a piece that they kind of develop um i know is it is it marcia or marcia i think it's marcia marcia okay well um i know she she's a five arts and she was talking about kind of a five five arts route um and having kids make something which I have at their house. So I'm not sure which system that kind of ties into, but, um, and I know, Drew, you were talking about history. You wanted to do some kind of history. Well, but yeah, basically thinking about the shift in agricultural practices in Maine over the past, you know, 200 years. 
and I you know that sounds very broad, but basically, you know, just thinking about this, probably three teams where, you know, Maine was a very agricultural uh, society, and then it, the shift to industry, and then the shift away from food products coming locally to the more, you know, within the past 20 or 25 years where you had uh, a shift towards locally grown farm to table, um, sort of that. Marco. People embracing that. Sorry. <laughs> no, but I like that. So that that kind of falls under the like the food systems, right? That would Yes. Or you know, sort of combination food and economic. Okay. So and I had posted this in the document. The word improve to me just and I'm not trying to wordsmith it, but like the what about like natural systems need to be improved? I think that was for me that just wasn't it was sitting strangely. Like why do things why do things necessarily have to be improved? Hold on one second, sorry. Marco, shh. Loud. <laughs> I'm hoping oh that's God. a dog. I'm hoping that's your dog and not one of your children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell them they were loud too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my dog. One of them. Oh, sorry. I guess I'll move. He's mad because the cat's on the table by his little cage and he can't get the cat. <laughs> I understand. In his little, little pen. Sorry, um, dog. I don't mind wordsmith it. I'm a I'm a math content, so I do not do words very well. So. I'm not sure what to change it to, though. Just to me, it doesn't like if we're if we want them to be investigating what's around them and things. Like, why do they have to be improving anything, right? Like, if they live in Farmington and they're near the woods, what like? I mean, things are improved now because we're not out as much, right? So there, there's a moose walking in my neighborhood. There are more foxes that I see. But I, for me, it's just a, I don't know. I, we can, I can come back to that. I think the bigger question is, so I'm in the layout three team, uh, layout team three modules, and I just copied and pasted that question. And how can people learn to adapt thinking and improve systems? And I'll just put a comment in there to come back to it. So it, when I think about, so Drew, I love that his, the idea of the history piece. And I think that, that that theme can sort of run through, right? Like, so um, I'm trying to think about making sure that we're, we're tying pieces together so that we're not creating these solitary disciplined modules, right? Because that's, that's clearly not what the intent is. So. Right. You know, if you think about the history piece of it, um, like what do you, what do you, or how do you foresee that linking in with another subject area? Um, I would think that, uh, particularly around the economics piece, that it could it could link in with math. Um, okay. Certainly link in with uh, with science, I think as well. Right. Um, if you're thinking about like, you know, the, the economic decision was made like what what are we trying to again around the word improve why is the farm to table system which was unimaginable half a century ago um now so readily embraced well part of the reason is that we are trying to cut down on the amount of fossil fuels that are being consumed uh in right. food right so we want to limit the, the, the time the, the distance that our food travels and that was something that was not like even thought of, you know, half a century ago. The idea that so maybe that grown in some, you know, like the bulk of what was being grown came from the agricultural Midwest and was all being shipped, you know, to various places around the country. But that's, you know, we're moving away from that now. And again, a lot of that has to do with economics 
uh, and the environment. So there's that science as well. So I, I'm just typing things in the in that document that team three module. So may, so could a compelling question be, and I just wrote this in, I'm not married to it at all, but like what has shifted to motivate the farm to table movement? Right. You said the gonna, layout for team three modules, is that what you said? Say that again, Casey, sorry. Um, what document are you in? It's in our, it's in the team three folder and it's layout team three modules. Okay, that's what I thought. And oh, it's right up at the top. I've just copied and pasted in that question that we have and Drew oh, is, okay. is shifting the question a bit. Yeah. So, I mean, even if we, I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go surely because my dinner is gonna be ready. But so, like, do we have one module then? Like, so, Casey, do you feel like if we try to approach this from an economics way, like Drew was saying, that you could tie in some of the math piece to this? Most likely. Okay. Um. I guess I guess I would have to know like what what the layout you know what I mean like what what the economics piece is like what right can I just think out loud here for a second because I know when I try to incorporate math into my curriculum uh, particularly after we have like the staff meeting where we are told what the most recent uh, reading and math scores are in the SAT and you start thinking like, okay, like what can I do <laughs> to get their, their numeracy skills improved? Um, a lot of, for me anyway, a lot of it has to do with them just analyzing data tables and charts. So oh, perfect. Thinking, like if we, if we could find that sort of thing as to, you know, how, you know, whatever data tables and charts we could find around how the farm to table movement has altered and shifted the economy of Maine um, from where it was half a century ago or going back even further, um, you know, that may be some way that we end up spinning math into the, um, into the module. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Cause I was going to do a piece, like I was thinking with the, the garden piece, you know, cause like the surface area, the volume, um, possibly perimeter if you want to put a fence around it and then obviously there's money there's costs associated with it which isn't really high school level math nor is any of the other math but <clears throat> it was it was a thought and I asked Morgan the other day because I was like well as you get to the upper level math it's kind of hard to put that into something that's cross-curricular um, and she said that if it was junior high level that's perfectly fine so but yes, I, I think reading, you know, reading graphs and reading charts is, and having qu questions asking uh, information about those charts is 100% valid for math. And then the science piece could be, like you said, looking at climate change. I know that there is a um, part of the next generation science standards, which are our, our new main learning results are, um, they have a piece in there about human impact and how it affects the environment and so that could be that could be a connection for science as well um and i i'm going to need to go momentarily but the one thing that i just um that when i i left watching the last meeting i'm a little bit concerned about um making sure that we're doing what we're doing right now and that is that we're, we're making connections across disciplines the, the last meeting, um, the recording from, I think it was Friday, I, I heard people still talking about like, well, I want to do this, or I can't do this in my room or in my building. And, and well, I want to focus on, and I think we need to, we need to break out of those silos a little because one, remember this, this doesn't need to be a school based project, right? Like, you might not be able to get a community garden at your building. But it's right. not about that. It's about that these students are going to be doing this remotely you know, away from the building. And while my interest is in biology, I also need to be able to help you, Casey, with the math and Drew try to give you a different perspective on the history piece. And we need to, we need to get away from 
what our pure passion is so that we can express that passion through all of these, these ideas. Um, and I feel like with this first question anyway, now we have a compelling question, right? Now the next thing to talk about is what's this gonna look like? Is it gonna be a paper? Like what does it, what does that end product look like? And I think that's a good place for us to be moving forward. And then hopefully Marsha and the other person's name who I can't remember. Um, oh, yeah. can, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, now she's gonna watch this and be like, how does he not know my name? So <laughs> great, I'm so glad we're recording this. Um, so. <laughs> um, if it makes you feel internet if it makes you feel better, I forgot what you taught. So I had to look up on the chart. That's okay. I'm a biology teacher. <laughs> okay. um, but I, so, um, yeah, so hopefully they can pull, either pull something in for this compelling question or build off of something similar and develop another, um, you know, I know talking about food waste and things like that, and that's certainly looking at other cultural approaches to this. It's a phenomena here. Has it been a phenomena in other cultures? Probably not, because it probably they never got to the industrial stage that we have necessarily. Right. I, um, I think that would really like be something of interest for Claudia. I know yeah. she talked about it and how um, like she's from Mexico and how, you know, how they like what they eat of animals and like right. how like we throw a lot of stuff away yeah. and they really use it for which is really cool because it's a different cultural perspective. So. Right. so anyway, so I feel a bit better now, like, okay, we've got an overarching question. We've got at least one compelling question. Um, and I'm going to jump off and let you guys finish the conversation. I'm sorry to have to cut it short, but do we, um, do you want me to send out like a doodle poll about when we can meet another time sometime this week? Yeah, like after, um, after we meet with Morgan on Wednesday, like sometime later yeah. in Thursday or Friday. Yeah, so should I send something out for Thursday and Friday and see what people are available for? Yeah. Um, now, Casey, you're, you're still teaching, correct? I am, yeah. Okay. July 31st. Okay, so late afternoon or early evening is better for you. Is that correct? Um, yes, but this week we're on vacation. Okay. So, oh, okay. Um, um, I think I have to take my dog to the vet at some point Thursday, but okay. other okay. than that. And so should I just nice. do like a shotgun effect? Like Thursday, Friday, put a couple of times in the morning, a couple of times in the afternoon. Does that work for both yeah. of you? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll do that tonight so it gets out to everybody. And then hopefully by Wednesday, we'll know when we're meeting and we can invite Morgan. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you both. Yeah, you're welcome. Good to see you. Good night. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. So, I forget we're, we're recording. It's weird to like go back and like see, <laughs> see yourselves on there. Don't, don't drop any F-bombs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah, if this were a regular staff meeting at my school, or at least a department meeting at my school, it would be much more profane. Um, right? I, I don't know you guys, so I'm on my best behavior. <laughs> right. No, like, that's like my favorite word. It, it, fl it flies a lot. Um, and I, I definitely try to clean it up around everybody else, but so sometimes it doesn't I'm work. Continuing to think out loud about the project, what I would like to do anyway is that document that we have that is, hang on a second, I want to make sure I'm talking about the right one the layout team three modules. Um, yeah, I, I think can't pull that up. That's the one that uh, Doug ended up copying and pasting the question and then put the compelling question for, you know, the first module. Yes. Yeah, I see it. Like I have the folder open. Yeah. Um, but it just I mean, won't for you. Anyway, what I'm going to do I'm gonna go back. maybe in the next yeah. couple of days as I sort of play with that document, I'm gonna probably type some things in in a different color, just so like, not that I'm married to any of it, but it's just, it's gonna make me feel better like I'm producing something. Um, yeah. And just some ideas and maybe I'll, you know, throw some links in there as well. Um, and, you know, whatever links I have, I'll make sure are, you know, if it's two documents that I created, I'll make sure that they're in the Team 3 folder so everybody can open them. Um, okay. And, you know, at least that's, to me anyway, I'll feel like we're, you know, it's a, it's a starting point. It's a foundation, yeah. program, whatever, whatever I end up, you know, throwing in there. It may not be much, but 
that's that's what I'm hoping to do in the next couple of days. Yeah, that would be great. So you were still yeah. teaching? Is that what you said? Yeah. It, what district are you in? Um, I work at a charter school. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we well, we typically have Mondays off. We go like four days a week, so yeah. we go pretty much through the summer because. We have to hit our, you know, 175 feet days. So, okay. Yeah, I work. Um, I work for the Maine Academy of Natural Sciences in Hinkley. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still this week. We have vacation this week, and then we have three more weeks of classes, and then we're done. Graduations on July 31st. Uh, and then you have all of August. Off? Um, most of it, yeah. I think we start back up the last week. Okay, like most districts, at least like workshops and things like that. <laughs> yeah. No. All right, well, I think that's, unless you have anything else compelling to share, I think we may be good. No, I think, I think that's good. I think, um, I like I can't open the document. Maybe it's just because I'm using the internet. It won't let me like <laughs> open something new. Um, but I think I might try to get in there. Um, I copied like the different pieces of, um, from group one, which is probably the same stuff that it talks about the different questions and the different types of factual conceptual. And I tried to fill it in per like the idea, like I was kind of working on. Yeah. Um, but I think like if I move into that other one, like we could have like the other group did many questions and many um, different avenues that we all can explore using whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I kind of feel like right now it's our, our kind of focus will end up being like a social studies science math-ish type thing. Right, because I think that like the, the strengths that Claudia brings will be that cultural component, which to me will also tie in with humanities and social studies as well, because it, you know, to me, like she's talking about human geography. That's, that's how I see it when she's talking yeah. about like, food ways and cultural practices and things like that. Yes. Which I think would be great. Yeah. And, um, and, and Marsha has the whole like fiber arts piece, which is the artsy piece. Yeah. So, like, I think that's kind of cool. I think it, you know, it, it maybe it'll be just one on, about food systems, but go in many directions. Or right. have many, I don't know, I think of it as like a, I don't know, like a three-dimensional shape, you know, with many faces. Like, it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll probably try to pop into that that document as well before our we meet as a group next time and I'll try to get more things in there and maybe we can, I don't know, <laughs> have a little more of a concrete plan by next time. Yeah, I think everybody will feel better. <laughs> I think so, because I mean, July 31st is like, Coming. Yeah. It's coming quick. Yeah. So. So. All right. So I will see you Wednesday at Morgan's meeting then. 10, right? Yes. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. Bye.